The Sioux Line Railroad is the primary United States railroad subsidiary of the Canadian Pacific Railway, one of seven U.S. Class I railroads, controlled through the Sioux Line Corporation. Although it is named for the Minneapolis, Street, Paul and Sioux Suite, Marie Railroad, which was commonly known as the Sioux Line after the phonetic spelling of Sioux, it was formed in 1961 by the consolidation of that company with two other CP subsidiaries, the Duluth, South Shore and Atlantic Railway, and the Wisconsin Central Railway. It is also the successor to other Class I railroads, including the Minneapolis, Northfield and Southern Railway and the Chicago, Milwaukee, Street, Paul and Pacific Railroad. On the other hand, a large amount of mileage was spun off in 1987 to Wisconsin Central Limited. Now part of the Canadian National Railway. The Sioux Line Railroad and the Delaware and Hudson Railway, CP's other major subsidiary presently do business as the Canadian Pacific Railway. Most equipment has been repainted into the CP scheme, but the U.S. Surface Transportation Board groups all of CP's U.S. subsidiaries under the Sioux Line name for reporting purposes. The Minneapolis headquarters are located in the Canadian Pacific Plaza building, having moved from the nearby Sioux Line building. The eastern approach over St. Anthony Parkway of the Canadian Pacific Camden Place Rail Bridge in Minneapolis the company's main line begins at Portal. North Dakota, on the Canada-U.S. border, and extends southeast along former MSTP and SSM trackage to the Twin Cities. Ex-Milwaukee Road trackage takes the Sioux Line from the Twin Cities to Chicago via Milwaukee. Between Chicago and Detroit, where the CP-owned Detroit River Tunnel connects back into Canada, the Sioux Line has trackage rights over the Norfolk Southern Railway and haulage rights over CSX transportation. Major branches include a connection from the border at Noyes, Minnesota, to Glenwood and, until it was sold to the Indiana Railroad in 1983, a line from Chicago to Louisville, Kentucky. Through trackage rights over the BNSF Railway, the Sioux Line also serves Duluth from the Twin Cities. At the end of 1970, the Sioux Line operated 4,693 miles of road on 6,104 miles of track. That year it reported 8,249 million ton miles of revenue freight and no passengers. Sioux Line 6022, an EMD SD60, pulls a train through Wisconsin Dells on June 20, 2004. The present Sioux Line Railroad was incorporated in Minnesota on October 19, 1949, as the Duluth, South Shore, and Atlantic Railroad. As part of the plan for reorganizing the Duluth, South Shore and Atlantic Railway and subsidiary Mineral Range Railroad. When CP consolidated several subsidiaries on January 1, 1961, it used this company to merge the Minneapolis, Street, Paul and Sioux Suite, Marie Railroad and the Wisconsin Central Railway into, and renamed it to the present name, the Sioux Line Railroad. The Sioux Line gained control of the Minneapolis, Northfield and Southern Railway, a Twin Cities area short line railroad, in June 1982. Passenger service was mostly eliminated by the 1961 merger, but several trains remained for a few more years. These were a St. Paul to Duluth daytime train known only as trains 62 and 63, the overnight Chicago to Duluth Laker. And its St. Paul connection, the Twin Cities to Winnipeg Winnipegger. And the St. Paul to Portal, North Dakota Sioux Dominion that during the summer, ran through to Vancouver via a connection with Canadian Pacific's The Dominion at Moose Jaw. It was discontinued in December 1963, and the Western Canada cars were handled on the Winnipegger for two more summers before they too were pulled. The Sioux Line's last passenger train was the Copper Country Limited, a joint service with the Milwaukee Road inherited from the Duluth, South Shore and Atlantic. This Chicago Champion Calumet service was discontinued May 8, 1968. In addition, there were several mixed trains, with additional ones created to enable the discontinuance of the St. Paul to Portal passenger train. Some mixed train services gained notoriety because passengers were conveyed in one direction only. A Sioux Line boxcar, seen in 2010 and 1984, CP incorporated the Sioux Line Corporation in Minnesota as a holding company, exchanging stock in December to give the Sioux Line Corporation total control over the railroad. Two months later, on February 19, 1985, the Sioux Line purchased the property of the bankrupt Chicago, Milwaukee, Street, Paul and Pacific Railroad and assigned it to a newly created subsidiary, the Milwaukee Road Incorporated. This company and the MN and S were both merged into the Sioux Line Railroad effective January 1, 1986. To cut costs, the Sioux Line created the Lake States Transportation Division on February 10, 1986 to operate the less important lines, 
including the ex-Wisconsin Central Line between Chicago and the Twin Cities. Unable to implement its proposed labor rule changes, the Sioux Line sold the approximately 2,000-mile LSTD to a new regional railroad, Wisconsin Central Limited. In 1987 for $133 million. Duh. In 1990, CP gained full control of the Sioux Line Corporation, of which it had previously owned about 56% of the common stock. In the 2000s, the Sioux Line was consolidated into CP. Only a few Sioux Line locomotives remain in the old paint scheme, most have been repainted into CP paint or scrapped. Today, the Milwaukee Road and Sioux Line's trackage make up the historically logical route of the Canadian Pacific Railway. The railroad ran several long-distance name trains. The presidents of the Sioux Line Railroad were, Sioux Line 2500 pulls a special train in Duluth on July 12, 2014. Some of the railroad's diesel locomotives have been preserved, in addition, a number of the railroad's 145 steel cabooses have been preserved. Sioux 4598, an EMD GP39-2, trails on a train through Oconomowoc, Wisconsin on October 13, 2019. As time passes, more Sioux Line locomotives are being repainted into the Canadian Pacific paint scheme. A total of nine Sioux Line locomotives still remain in service in their original paint that are operated by CP. In addition, some Sioux Line EMD SD60 locomotives were sold to leasing company CIT Group, which were then patched over but still remained in the Sioux Line hockey stick paint scheme. The three locomotives that remain in Sioux Line paint are 6002, 6007, and 6020. Some Sioux Line locomotives are in storage in various rail yards, and active and waiting to be scrapped or sold. These include, the Sioux Line Trail in Minnesota was created from former pieces of the railroad which has extended down into the Lake Wobegon Trail. The trails are enjoyed by walkers, runners, and bikers in the area, and are prized for how flat they are. Thanks for watching.